letting you go. No, no, no. It's your lover. Alongside the love, let us up. Shaggy. I want to say. You, me, chronics. I don't care who it is. Right? Cannot do it better than Dennis Brown, Bob Marley and them. They did it that good. And the beat goes on. Dancehall has seen better days on the world stage, but Shaggy looks to the future and a new kind of attitude. You have to be bankable. We're already at a disadvantage because we're only less than 5% of the market share. So you're going to have to be a super artist, an artist that does music 10 times better, work 10 times harder, right? And, and have that kind of presence. And once you find that person, then that will shift culture and then you will have the cool fact everybody coming back to it. And I think it is possible and it has to be the, the future artist. I don't think it's, in, it's me or Sean or anything like that. It's the future. The multi-platinum selling DJ has made it a virtue of learning from his mistakes and seizing opportunity. The shaggy I am today was not the shaggy I was when I just started. The Sean Paul you see today wasn't the Sean Paul it, it, it was when he just started. So it, there's a growth process. I could have done it way earlier if I was educated even earlier. I used to think say I make, yeah, I did, I make good money until I start tour with Sting and see some other people and realize I'm going to them and say, right, this music can make them kind of money, yeah? Because I had no idea. Getting the right ideas across to receptive ears, perhaps a problem. Put it this way. There's an old saying in Jamaica, carry the donkey to the water, you can't make him drink. So I'm not saying probably the first 10 won't but maybe you find one that does. Maybe that one won't be the most talented either, but just the hardest worker, and that always wins. Hustle for the money, me. work for the money. Me. Ghanaian recording artist Stoneboy says reggae belongs to Africans, but did he get it the wrong way around? Each one of these um, genres, whether it be reggaeton, whether it be Afrobeat, whether it be hip hop, all derive from reggae and dancehall whether they want to admit it or not. Commercially, reggae and dancehall playing catch up to Afrobeats. So what went wrong? Education, education. I've seen artists who have gotten prime opportunities and because of hustle mentality, decided that they're not gonna take it. If you get a manager who don't know how to build a career, they just know how to collect a money, then you're gonna have a problem. You have to figure out what to take, when to get the money, when to say, okay, the opportunity, the look is better than the money, let me take it, right? That one had the look not so big. So for me, I'm going to do this now, you want me, you have to give me the money, like I am. you know, see? So you have to know how to, and that takes experience and education, which is why, for me, my biggest thing right now in the position I have is to create a platform to teach. Anybody can come to me, come ask me. I am a wealth of knowledge. I have lived it, I've survived it longer than most. And if an artist come to me, come sit down and have a one-on-one. -on -one. I just had a, a long one-on-one. -on -one couple months ago with me and Dexter Daps, you know what I mean? And, you know, people call me and reach out to me and sit down and have a conversation with them. And some people I recommend because I, have, I know people in the game who are the best set of lawyers, best set of business managers, best set of things, and who are reputable. And I will even go in and do a co-sign and say, yo, this kid is such and such. Help that person out and they'll go in and do it. Music business talk shops with a track record of disinterest in Jamaica. Shaggy and Solid, however, set to up the ante next February with IMC, Island Music Conference. That is why Sharon and, and Judy and I have decided to do that. We did some other one before, and this is a new one that we're branded and we're doing it properly. And I want to bring some of my friends, people who I deal with, you know, the head of some of these companies and bring them down to Jamaica. Whosoever can get from Zoom, I'll get from Zoom. And just let people learn. It, it, it don't cost you for the knowledge. Just come in, you know, and just, and just learn. And I mean, and draw your own conclusion and then see me there or see anybody that, I'm, that I have brought there and can throw your questions to them and, and learn. There's music business, but there's also the business of music and you need to learn that part. I'm telling you this 100%. If I knew then what I know now, I would not, I, I, the amount of money I would ask women, I guarantee you. But I just did not know and I was with people who didn't know also and didn't want to admit they didn't know also. You know what I mean? You have to, there's so much to learn. It's, it is so vast, the amount of avenues of income 
that this entertainment business can bring. And if you don't know how to monetize it, um, you're lost. And other people will take it. Don't care much them pat you up and hug you up and say, yo, you're my son, you're my brother, you're my sister, I love you, you're my best friend. Once there's an opportunity to take you, they will. Shaggy talks of TJ, with whom he just shot a music video, and Sean Paul, whom he rates for being way more tolerant of music business disrespect than he is. I did a couple of songs with him and, and his range is incredible. I like his work ethic also. It was a big thing for me. Um, willing to try new things. Uh, his humility is another thing that I really like about him. I think the one more thing is Sharon is managing man and she's my friend. I'm a boss. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna support anything that you. Sharon and I have done things together that have worked brilliantly over the years. I've shared my platform with many artists from Kankara to Spice to, to Mohambi and Fade, everybody. You know what I mean? Um, there's another young Jamaican artist that, you know, I have come with 16, 17 million monthly subscribers, you know what I mean, which puts me at a, an, an advantage, which is a stepping stone. I can, if he can pick it back on that, and because he has the the, the, the ability to do it and, and the work ethic. And you see this more and more being the way forward where some of the new wave, the new school entertainers sort of have a collaboration are taken under the wing of somebody who is a little bit more commercially established and, you know, showing the ropes. Well, put it this way, Sean has done a lot of collaborations that are major stars. Um, but Sean will tell you himself, even getting those collaboration were hoops, you know. Sean is, a, is one of the most unique human beings because he have way more, he would look my hand and cuss half in a two minutes if you disrespect me. He is more, he will work through it, you know. And some of these, some of these guys who are collaborating, these major artists are, are straight up 100% just disrespectful and I'm not going to take it, but Sean is a youth who can maneuver through it. He's such an a, a, a easy, people person and him know if you do all of that. And, you want and to give I, us I, an example of that disrespect? I have had situations where the artist called me. I didn't call that, the artist called me. Legend, yo, we need to get from this junior. All right, cool. I sit, link him, do the music, send it again. I say, yo, here's the music. If it's nothing you don't like, no problem. You could come back, maybe send me something you like. And just ghost. I've had artists, artists where we do the song. And then him just don't show up for the video. I have artists who do the song and decide, say, you want, I want $30,000 to show for the video. And by the way, I want four first class seats. All right? I want two of them for my dog. I have artists that says, hey, you know, I need wardrobe budget. And I pay the wardrobe budget of $25,000. And a man from wear a t-shirt to him out. I'm not hearing right. Yeah. These things happen, right? Just to get that person on your song. And then, when them dip on the song, them don't even put on a tweet. Okay, the song released today, you know. Them don't even give a tweet. They don't do nothing social. It's not like Sting and me with two away together. Go work the tune them on together. Which is why I use new artists. And I give this to Sean. 110% when we're doing what on there. If me miss one interview and me and Spice do it, Sean call me and cuss. How only left me out of this? What kind of idiot thing is? No, seriously. That is how much this guy wants to work. So I give him that 110%. Never tell you that. He supports them when, they, when he do, does music with them. They don't support him as much. How much tweet did, 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 did Sia tweet for Sean? She do one. You show me another one, then we can give him a salary. Your former manager has said stuff about you. You've never responded. Why? Shaggy's response and more next Friday.